the true and complete understanding of an idea, goes far beyond the first apprehension of the idea by the intelligence, although more often than not this apprehension is taken for understanding itself. While it is true, that the immediate evidence conveyed to us by any particular idea is, on its own level, a real understanding, there can be no question of its embracing the whole extent of the idea, since it is primarily the sign of an aptitude, to understand that idea in its completeness. Any truth can in fact be understood at different levels, and according to conceptual dimensions, that is to say, according to an indefinite number of modalities, that correspond to all the possible aspects, likewise indefinite in number, of the truth in question. This way of regarding ideas accordingly leads to the question of spiritual realization, the doctrinal expressions of which clearly illustrate the dimensional indefinitude of theoretical conceptions. Philosophy, considered from the standpoint of its limitations and it is the limitations of philosophy that confer upon it its specific character, is based on the systematic ignoring of what has been stated above. In other words, philosophy ignores what would be its own negation, Mariova, it concerns itself solely with mental schemes that with its claim to universality, it likes to regard as absolute, although from the point of view of spiritual realization these schemes are merely so many virtual or potential and unused objects, insofar at least as they refer to true ideas, when however, this is not the case, as practically always occurs in modern philosophy. These schemes are reduced to the condition of mere devices, that are unusable from a speculative point of view, and are therefore without any real value. As for true ideas, those, that is to say, that more or less implicitly suggests aspects of the total truth, and hence is truth itself, they become by that very fact intellectual keys and indeed have no other function, this is something that metaphysical thought alone is capable of grasping. So far as philosophical or ordinary theological thought is concerned, there is, on the contrary, an ignorance affecting not only the nature of the ideas, that are believed to be completely understood, but also and above all the scope of theory as such, theoretical understanding is in fact transitory, and limited by definition, though its limits can only be more or less approximately defined.